Okay guys, we are going We are going to go grocery shopping today. We have absolutely nothing, nothing at home. We have milk and we have a box of cereal. Um, so we definitely need absolutely everything. Produce, fruit, meats, snacks, bread. Um, so we're gonna take you guys along with us. grocery run um, we did go to our local grocery store it is HEB they have fantastic prices um, the only grocery stores we have around here we also we have Trader Joe's we have Whole Foods um, but for a family of seven and uh, us being on a budget we are not gonna step foot into Whole Foods and buy food that'll stock up our fridge and our pantry we have to go with something more feasible and for us it is um, either Walmart or HEB. Uh, I think HEB has far better produce as well as meats. Um, they have really good prices on their meats. So that is where we went. We will probably have to do a couple more stops. We didn't get everything that we need, of course. I am not that organized at all. Like I don't have a planner. I don't go to the grocery store with a plan or anything like that. I just go, I pick up what I know we need and that is pretty much it. <laughs> it's pretty cut and dry pretty simple with me so I am going to try to speed through this um, and show you guys what we bought all right so we're gonna start with peanut butter um, we always we are a GIF kind of family but we couldn't find a large enough container so we got uh, the Peter Pan peanut butter we got our big jalapenos we always have this in our fridge Reuben and I really love the bread and butter pickles so we picked up some of that Miracle Whip this salad is delicious. I think it was $3. It's the uh, sesame ginger Asian chopped salad and it's really super good. It comes with the dressing and everything. Um, we got some animal crackers. I'm kind of hoping that the kids... What is that? Yeah, very cool, babe. I'm kind of hoping that the kids... I'm hoping that the kids will like this. It's a cheap, easy snack. Um, so I'm gonna put them in a clear container so they can see them and hopefully want them. I also picked up some pasta. Um, I picked up pasta because we have chicken in the freezer that I would like to throw on here with some Alfredo sauce. So we got one, two bags. Okay, I also got a bag of beans. These tortillas are wonderful. They make them there at the grocery store at HEB. These are butter tortillas and they are the closest thing to homemade tortillas that you will find. They have a hint of butter on them, they're delicious. So we got um, two packs of the 20 count. And then we also picked up this pack. We've had it before, of course, and it's delicious. It's a mixture, so it has, it has flour and corn mixed in it. Um, really, really good tortillas, guys. I picked up um, some of these pickles. They are Dilly Bites. They're cut up, so I think the kids will enjoy snacking on them. And uh, let's go to the spinach. I got a bag of spinach, and, and I got a family size um, garden salad mix. Um, pretzels, Miranda's gonna throw these in her lunch, so we got pretzels. She's also gonna take these for lunch. Miranda takes her own lunch to school, so she can throw these in a snack bag. Uh, we got some Fritos. HEB sells their own uh, potato chips, and so we got some Barbecue Ridge. These are also HEB's uh, like Dorito chips. $1.98. Uh, to go with our peanut butter, of course, we got some Welch's strawberry. We got the knockoff brand of macaroni and cheese, and we got two boxes. We also got a thing of popcorn because we are big popcorn lovers, so we got that. Uh, Ruben got some steel cut oats and then we got some little top ramens. We got shrimp, lime and chili, chili flavor, and then the picante chicken. Um, let's go over, let's finish over here. So then we got this. I figured Miranda could also take these as a lunch. 
um, throw them in her lunch bag, or an after school snack. Coffee, guys. I had to stock up on my coffee. HEB has their own coffees. Uh, it's called the Cafe, o Cafe Olay brand. This is a Houston blend and it has um, praline, pecan, and coconut flavors. Oh my goodness. So I got. So I got the Houston one, I got the San Antonio one, which has like a hint of cinnamon and vanilla and chocolate in it. And then I got the Texas pecan. These are definitely my three favorites. And then I also got another uh, granola bar snack. We got some Tabasco sauce, Louisiana. Ruben takes this small one in his lunch bag. I picked up some Alfredo sauce for our pasta and chicken. And then we got these shoestrings. These are like little chips. If you guys have not had these picnic shoestring potatoes, you are missing out. So I got one, two, three, four, five little containers, and I think they were like 60 cents each. And then we got some popcorn flavors. We got uh, nacho cheddar and dill pickle. For the fruit, we got, I got some strawberries i got two of these cartons um tomatoes are a big huge snack in our house so we got these these i think were like five something and then uh, we can't do a haul without some kind of either mandarin orange or okay or clementine so um i went ahead and picked up two bundles of the clement of the mandarin oranges um, and these were like three something each we got two loaves of bread and I got some of these uh, just basic red apples and I got some of these apples. They're great for the kids because they're small so big kids can have a couple of them, little kids can just grab one. For meats we got H-E-B. H-E-B has wonderful prices for their meats like I said earlier. So um, this pork, this is pork sirloin uh, with the bone in. For almost four pounds, it was only $6.23. So that's like a really good buy. These are definitely one of my favorite meats to pick up at HEB. They are the pork riblets. Um, this packet will go so far for our family, but this was only $4.92, under $5 right here. So I picked up two. I will just put these on the stove with some lemon pepper and cook them. They're delicious. And then I also picked up And then I picked up uh, some chicken thighs. These were $4.68. And we have Evan not very happy in the background. Um, okay, we picked, okay, I'll show you later. So then of course, we always have string cheese. Got a pack of string cheese, some cheddar cheese, some sharp cheese, Colby Jack cheese, and a black of sharp cheddar cheese. And as far as lunch meat, I got some honey ham. I really like the Black Forest ham. We got some pastrami and some Eckridge sausage links. I, Ruben picked this up. I usually pick up two of them, but I think he just picked up one. Uh, we got some Wienes or hot dogs. We at the De Leon Castro house call them Wienes. Uh, we got some sausages. And then Christopher Christopher has really been into chorizo and egg tacos, so I bought some chorizo that I will cook and mix up with some eggs. I'm gonna vlog this next item so that I can quickly put it in the freezer. This, my friends, is the H-E-B brand of Mexican chocolate ice cream. Yum. Uh, we got some cereal, mini wheats, and cinnamon toast crunch. We got some eggs. We got three bottles of the, oh no, we got two bottles of the crushed soda. We got some ginger ale, some orange juice, some tea, two gallons of milk. We got the kids some Lunchables. Uh, this is gonna, yes, this is gonna be Ruben's lunch. Come over here, here is some more of Ruben's lunch, some lean cuisines. And then he's gonna also take some Tostino's pizzas. Um, we got two boxes of the chicken top ramen for the kids. They love that. More toaster strudels. Uh, Ruben got another. Ruben got another lunch. We got some 
Olay's body soap, some deodorant, some secret deodorant. Sophie got some blocks for like five dollars. We needed toilet paper and this big old thing of paper towels. Oh yeah, Ruben also got a bath scrunchy loofah thing, whatever. Um, and then we got these cascarones that were, if you bought two crushed sodas, you would get these cascarones for free. So we got them free. So that is gonna be our grocery haul for today. We spent a total of $336 and 52 cents so not too bad uh, like I said we'll probably have to make a few more stops um, but just to get us off for the next couple of weeks I think that was a really good haul so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to reserve your seat at our table for seven table for seven that's the name of our channel hit that red subscribe button and thank you for watching our grocery haul and be on the lookout for our next one the children are yelling in the background but I don't even care because this Mexican hot chocolate ice cream is delicious. It's so good. If you're in San Antonio, I haven't been to San Antonio. If you're in San Antonio, go find yourself some. It is so good.